Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. If you wanna see what I picked up for groceries this week and what I plan on having for meals, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you my meal plan for the week. So first I wanna show you this meal planner um, that I got. So a lot of you really like this Carrie L meal planner, which I absolutely love. I will always get one of these. Um, but if people have told me that it's a little bit more expensive than what they can afford right now. So um, this is a, an affordable option. I will have a link to their website down below, plus um, on Amazon. I don't have a discount code or anything for them. Um, I do have a discount code for this one though, so I, w I always have that link down below. Um, but this one's from Life and Apples. I should have opened it before I got the camera out. Okay. And it's just, it's a whole like meal planner like system, which is really nice. So I'm gonna show you, I don't wanna take too long, so I'm just gonna show you kind of what, what's inside of this. So it even kind of takes you through a step-by-step -step, like how to plan your menu, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, I will have that link down below, but so check that out. It has 52 weeks of meal plans. This is, I have mine set up a little bit different since I don't do breakfast right now since I'm fasting. Um, but anyway, it has Monday through Sunday. It's undated, although my week starts on Sunday, so that's the only thing that I had to kind of adjust. And then you have place for breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, you have your goal up here, your budget, there's a shopping list, there's notes, there's gratitude, so it has 52 weeks of that. And then there's other stuff in the back, like you can track your, how much you spend on groceries. There's a list of like different essential vitamins, what they do, where you get them from. There's a whole thing on for recipes, for snack ideas, where you give you some snack ideas, plus you can put your own here. Um, it's just there's just a ton of things in this there really is it's, it's really interesting i've never seen a meal planner quite like this um, you can have a staple shopping list so things that you always want to have on hand so this would be really helpful when you're making your shopping list you can look on here and make sure you have these things on your list so this is kind of like a master list i guess is what they call it which makes sense um again like i said recipes and then there's um some stickers it comes with and a note section, so a really, really nice. Um, again, I will have this link down below, their website and the Amazon link, then that way you can look at it a little bit closer on those pictures. Um, so let's get into what the meal plan is for the week. Um, and this one is the Carrie L meal planner. Again, I have a discount code down below. Um, this is what mine looks like. This is the smaller one. It's gorgeous. They have different covers. They have lots of different meal, um, not even only meal planners, but other planners on the website as well. So, Sunday night, I plan on making the skinny white chicken enchiladas. Monday night, I'm going to make a skinny chicken marsala. I've never made um, marsala before, and it normally has mushrooms. I'm gonna make it without mushrooms because I'm not a fan of cooked mushrooms, so I'm hoping it still turns out okay. Tuesday, I'm gonna make some turkey chili with the like um, really Weight Watcher friendly corn muffins. Um, Wednesday, I'm gonna do chicken Philly cheese steak. Thursday, breakfast for dinner, and then Friday and Saturday we usually do just leftovers, just eat whatever's in the house. Sometimes I pick up something on Friday, um, so that's our meal plan. And then this side, instead of using for my grocery list, I always just kind of jot out what I want for lunches and snacks, and then kind of just do a rough meal prep. So lunches for the week is going to be some chicken enchilada bowls. I'm going to make chicken salad and have those on pitas, and then any leftovers from any dinners through the week. Uh, snacks, I'm gonna make some turkey and cheese a crescents, and then I'm gonna make some of the skinny kitchen ranch and have veggies with that. And then so, so far for meal prep, I'm just gonna do some lunch bowls. I'm gonna make the chicken salad. I'll make those crescents, the ranch, and then some hard boiled eggs. Okay, so there is my meal plan for the week. So let's get into the grocery haul. Okay guys, so here is my haul for the week. I will have the smart points on the screen as usual. My Walmart again this week. I just recently started shopping at Walmart again and these last few weeks they have had absolutely nothing in stock and it has driven me crazy. So I might just go back to not shopping there anymore. 
Anyway, they were out of the reduced fat crescent rolls, so I wasn't able to get those. So I'm gonna have to do a modification for that part of my meal plan. I was gonna make those for snacks, the turkey and cheese crescents. I think I'll just make some two green dough and do some kind of maybe like, I don't know, like hot pocket type things or something. So anyway, so you won't see the crescent rolls. Other than that, I was able to find everything for the most part. So let me show you what I picked up. So I picked up some boneless Guinness skinless chicken breast. I am trying to save a little bit money right now and keep my grocery bill down. So I am buying the frozen chicken breast. So I have a big five pound bag of this. I did not make it to the store that does have my favorite eggs. So my Walmart does not carry the free range eggs that I like to pick up. So I just picked up, I still have a dozen of those left from last week though. So I just picked up one more dozen to go along with some things. I'm gonna be making some crepes and I know I need some eggs for those. I picked these up really not for any reason except for just I saw them and I haven't tried these before. We are having breakfast for dinner one night so I thought about making some omelets or some egg muffin cups or something like that so I just picked up some of these turkey sausage crumbles. And this is what I was going to use for those roll-ups. Um, I was going to do turkey but I found this um, rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. It was less sodium so I thought I would pick this up. So like I said, I'm gonna do something I think with two ingredient dough with this instead of the crescent rolls. I needed some ground turkey. So this is the 93% lean ground turkey. I'm gonna be using this for the turkey chili. I picked up some hummus. I haven't had hummus in forever. So I did pick up um, some pretzel trip chips to go with those. So I will show those to you here in a second, but I really love this roasted red pepper hummus from Walmart. Picked up quite a few yogurts. I still have some left over, but like I said, I'm not the only one that eats these, so I always try to pick up quite a few. Picked up two of the caramel apple pie. Picked up a strawberry, one banana cream, one key lime, and one blueberry. I picked up a few canned goods, so I needed two cans of kidney beans. I got the no salt added as usual. This is gonna be for the turkey chili. The cream style corn is gonna be for the corn muffins to go with the turkey chili. Um, I'm gonna be having some chicken enchilada bowls for lunch this week, so I picked up some red enchilada sauce for that. I will be showing that in meal prep video. For a video coming soon to you, I'm gonna be using this no sugar added cherry pie filling, so stay tuned for that video in the next couple weeks. For the chicken salad, I picked up one of these two pack of the chunk breast meat. And then for the white chicken enchiladas, I picked up the green enchilada sauce. And the last kind canned item is the crushed tomatoes. This is also for the turkey chili. I wanted to try some different creamer. I, I've had this many times before, but I've just got done with my French vanilla, so I picked up the Italian sweet cream. When are they gonna come up with some different sugar-free flavors, you guys? I feel like we always have these two, this one and the French vanilla, but I just feel like we need more sugar-free flavors. I picked up some sugar-free black cherry syrup. I was actually trying to find just regular cherry syrup. They didn't have it. This is gonna be for a coffee drink. I don't know if the black cherry is gonna work out. If it doesn't, that's okay, because in the spring and summer, I like to have iced green tea and put flavoring in it, so the black cherry will be fine for that. But I'll let you know if that works out with the coffee. I've never used this before, but I'm making that chicken marsala, so I picked up some of the marsala cooking wine. I'm out of bone broth in my freezer, so I picked up some reduced sodium chicken bone broth. Uh, this is gonna be for the turkey chili, I believe. Okay, so I picked up some fat-free cheddar. I don't really think I need this for anything that I can think of, maybe the chicken enchilada bowls, but I just like to pick it up when they have it at Walmart. They were out of the fat-free mozzarella, which is what I need for the um, white chicken enchiladas, but I think I have some in the freezer and I also picked up some reduced fat kind, which I'm not sure where that ended up, so I'll have to find that. The ultra thin provolone, I picked this up for the chicken Philly cheesesteak that I'm gonna have for dinner one day. And just for snacks, I picked up some light string cheese. They also were out of the fat-free sour cream, so I had to pick up the light again. This is gonna be for the enchiladas. 
I'm gonna make some skinny kitchen ranch so I picked up one of the buttermilk recipe I have another one of these I used two of them in that recipe but I already had one of these on hand so I just picked up one extra uh, just to have on hand I don't think I needed the yogurt for anything well now I will if I need to make two ingredient dough but I always like to keep some plain plain non-fat yogurt on hand just in case I need it for something I have some poppables back there when I have the chicken salad pitas for lunch I'll take some of those poppables with me I picked up two things of my favorite coffee one of my grocery stores it's not my Walmart but it's a local grocery store has this for only three dollars and ninety eight cents so I went there yesterday to pick up the Tarani syrup because that's the only place in town that sells that so I went ahead and picked up two coffees this alert one I love it it's double the caffeine and then um, this breakfast blend so I picked up two of those so I would have them I needed the almond milk for the crepes that I'm making which you'll see that in a video actually it'll be posted probably before this video and then um, I picked up some skim milk I'm gonna be making some skinny mochas so I just wanted to pick up some skim milk for that the corn is gonna be for the turkey chili the rice cauliflower is going to be for those chicken enchilada bowls for lunch. The Cool Whip is going to be for the crepe recipe. I tried to find the sugar-free or the fat-free Cool Whip. Neither one of them were in stock, so I had to pick up the light. I picked up some salsa. Those are going to go with my baked, um, baked scoops. I wanted to have just some chips and salsa. The jalapeno peppers, that's going to go with the enchilada bowls. I like to just snack on pickles, so I thought the day that I have the chicken salad pitas, I'll have a pickle to go along with that. Better, better milk for that skinny kitchen ranch, plus I make um, cornbread for my husband and I use better milk for that. Finally was able to find the baked scoops. My Walmart has been out of them forever, so I found those. This is what I'll be using that hummus for. And then I picked up some Skinny Pop popcorn. I will go ahead and portion that out into individual sizes. And that's a sea salt and a pepper kind. I don't have a whole lot of produce today because I actually made a trip midweek to Safeway to pick up produce. So I already have some Brussels sprouts, some zucchini. I picked up some spinach. I picked up some sprouts, um, some microgreens. So I already have all that in my refrigerator. So I don't, didn't need to pick up very much produce today. So I did get some spinach and spring mix for salads. Bananas, two bell peppers. The green ones are gonna be for the chicken Philly cheesesteak. Strawberries, the red pepper, I think this is for the enchilada bowls if I remember right. Avocados just for salad and whatnot. Apples for snacking, tomatoes for salad. I like to have cucumber with hummus, so I picked up some of that. I was at a PB2, so I picked up this big one. This is only $9.98 at Walmart and it's exact same um, points and everything as the regular PB2 so this is the powdered peanut butter if you guys are not familiar with it you can have two tablespoons of this for one smart point so it's amazing and I believe that's the right points I'll have the right points on the screen now that I say that is it two points for two tablespoons I want to say it's one though okay I don't know but I will have it here on the screen picked up some of the Joseph pitas I got this for the chicken salad when I have that for lunch. And then I picked up two of the low carb whole wheat tortillas. These will be for the white chicken enchiladas um, that I'll have for dinner one night. And I picked up two of them because I probably doubled that recipe so the kids have them for lunches as well. Um, these are two points for one and three points for two. These are really nice and soft tortillas, really super good. I feel like they're a good, um, size I am not a fan of the what are the ones that a lot of people get um, that are only one point I don't like those ones but I love the tomorrow wraps but I can only find those at one store and these I just really like these as well um, for another recipe you guys will be seeing in the next week or so I needed some sugar-free quick bread mix and then to make my mocha coffees, I picked up some sugar-free syrup. So that is my haul. So stay tuned 
for meal prep will actually be on Monday this week because I don't work on Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also tomorrow I am having um, a live show on YouTube, so check that out. A couple other ladies on YouTube are joining me, Brianna from Diva and the Divine and Jessica from Weight Watching, Weight Watching Mama will both be joining me. And we're just gonna do a real talk about weight loss segments. So join us 10 a.m. Pacific time and that is tomorrow on Sunday. So then Monday will be my meal prep and of course I will be doing a whole few days of what I eat on Weight Watchers and you can see how I put all the stuff together. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.